Hey you guys, I'm back for another video and in today's video, I am going to be doing the FAQs, okay? Frequently asked questions, all right? Because I get a lot of DMs and inboxes about the same stuff that I already talked about in my videos. Now, I'm not gonna, you know, go to in because some people are just new, but some people do not want to do their research. I'm honestly about to like stop answering DMs. So if you wanna get in touch with me, my email is down below if you have any questions, you want any advice, but just be warned, I will be posting them on here so that those questions don't keep coming up and then people keep asking me the same thing over and over. But we just need to jump right into it. Okay, so the first one is about tips and tricks for my healing process when I got my surgery. Y'all, everybody's healing process is going to be different. What I went through and what I experienced is not gonna be the same as you. But me being the nice person that I am, I'll still give you what I did and what happened with me. We had Percocets for pain. So what I did was, I was doing my research on Percs because I just wanted to make sure that like, you know, it wasn't gonna give me no adverse side effects, you know, whatever the case may be. So I was doing my little research or whatever because you gotta do research. I learned that, you know, pain medication slows your healing process down. So the less pain medication you take is the faster you'll heal. So just keep that in mind. I'm not saying just go cold turkey and don't take no pills. If you can tolerate the pain, do your thing, don't be scared. But a lot of the times when I took them, it wasn't because of the pain, it was more so for the comfort of trying to go to sleep because I would be so restless and be up. So I was like, uh, I can't be up all night, grab. So I popped the perk, girl. Even though they keep me, they kept me up and they made me itch. So I'm just giving y'all what went on with me. All right, another frequently asked question is, how do I go about getting insurance? A lot of these questions can be answered on Google, but what I did was I had insurance through Amazon because I was working at Amazon Fulfillment Center in the warehouse or whatever the case may be. I met a girl who was transitioning and she told me all about it. All she told me basically was like, our insurance covers the surgery, period. So after that, I had to do my due diligence. I had to do my research because I wanted to make sure this is something that I wanted to do. And I wanted to make sure that the things that I wanted were going to be covered. You listening? I called my insurance. My insurance said, we have a specialized department for transgender patients. Just get in touch with them. They gave me a number. I called that person. I have Blue Cross Blue Shield. So they told me all the things that I needed before I can be approved. Talk to me nice, okay? See if your insurance covers it. Find surgeons that take your insurance. Boom, surgery. Another thing they always ask me is how long was my healing process? My healing process took me about two months because I wasn't taking the pain medication like that and I didn't baby my body. How long before intercourse? So. I started two months after, once I was felt like I was a little bit more healed enough. A lot of these questions, your doctor answers for you. Another question I always get is, does it work? Yeah, that's what, it's, that's what it's built to do. It's built to work. Another question is, do you continue hormones post-op? The answer is yes. When you're going from male to female, everybody's body runs off of your hormones. When you cut off what produces the hormones in a male's body, which is your testicles, uh, your body begins to shut down. I tried everything before I had to go back on the pill. I was off for a whole year and I was having hot flashes. I was getting uh, frequent migraines. It was just a whole spiel. So I was trying to like drink a lot of soy and um, you know, eat edamame. I was just doing a bunch of stuff that had like hormones in it, but it didn't work. It's, you do have to make sure you stay on hormones, which sucks, but like pros and cons. You have women who out here who have to have their periods every single month. For trans women, we have to just be on hormones. Everybody has their problems, okay? So accept it. This right here is like one of my biggest questions. I don't know why, but it is. A lot of people always ask me how my son feels about me being transgender. My son is my son, right? I'm all he knows. You know what I'm saying? So, first of all, he really doesn't really have a choice but to deal with it because I take care of him. You know what I'm saying? I'm building him into the man that he is going to be one day. So, really no choice. When I figured out that I was transgender, I explained it to my son because I knew who I was at this point and I needed to let him know because if I did not let him know, then why, like, how would that even work? You can't go from calling me one thing to another without me giving you some explanation. So, I gave it to him in the eight-year-old version. I think he 
was like eight. How he feels about it is my son does not care. He does not care. Like I said, my son receives a lot of love. I love my child. I show my child love. I give him affection. You know, I hug. I give him kisses on the cheek, rub his head. I play with my son. I give him the love that he needs. That love right there, it trumps everything. We're not talking about the Donald. We're talking about just regular Trumps. It does not matter to him. He does not care how people, like my son can have gay friends. He will have like trans friends. He does not care because the person that he loves I want to say the most, girl, because you know I am the bomb. <laughs> the most is transgender, and I still treat him with respect. I still love him. I still, you know, nurture him. I'm still his parent. So if I got to pop on him, I got to pop on him. If I got to nurture him, I got to nurture him. If I got to come for him, I got to come for him. That's my dog. I've been asking over the years, like in and out, just because I want to know. Like, not just y'all. I want to know also. I want to know, like, so how do you feel about this? Are you, like, embarrassed? When I ask my embarrassment, he said that he's embarrassed by me, but not because... I'm transgender. He's embarrassed because I'm a parent. Y'all, it's literally the same thing. The way you're embarrassed by your parents, the same thing. He might be embarrassed because, you know, kids might make fun of me. I'm more of a funny person. So when I go to, up to his school, like, I'm oh and -da -da -pop -pop -pop. so you know looking at it like girl like relax girl but my son like literally i told told him over the years you have to learn to love me for all of me because i love you for all of you so you have to learn to accept who i am so i can learn to accept who you are that's just it because if you don't accept me i don't deal with you i'm not telling i didn't tell my son that part but that's how it is like you have to learn to love and accept me i said if you at home love me enough and, and respect and care about me enough at home. When you go out in them streets, people can't phase you. They can say what they want. He does not like when people say stuff about me, but what kid does? Please, when somebody says something about my mama when I, back in the day, when I tell you I was bang, bang, banging them up, girl, I was bang, bang, banging them up because I don't play like that. It's just like a regular situation for him. I'm always open and honest. If you have children and you're transgender and you, you have not told them, tell them. Because the thing about it is, how would they learn about anything about you without ignorance if you don't teach them? I don't want my son going out in the street and having them tell him whatever they think transgender is or who I am. I'm going to tell you myself so that when you go out in the street, you can correct them when they are wrong. You understand what I'm saying? Okay, y'all. So basically, that's all my frequently asked questions. I just kind of want to get it off my chest. Y'all, if y'all have any questions, I'm going to put my email at the bottom of this screen. And also, it's going to be in the description down below. We are done with DMs. We are done with inboxes. We are done with trying to be personalized. Like, I'm, I'm over it, okay? Because I can't help everybody one by one. That's not going to work. So I'm going to have y'all send me y'all questions. I'll answer them in videos coming up. We'll do Q&As and things of that nature. But that's the way that we're going to move from now on, okay? I love y'all so, 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 so so much. Don't think that I'm coming for y'all like I want to fight. Because it's not that. Like, trust me. I understand. When I was come, going through whatever I was going through with my transition, I had nobody to talk to. I had nobody to help me. So I get it. So a lot of the times when people hit me up, I write them back. But it is becoming so obsessive now to the point where I can't get back to everybody and it makes me feel bad. So for me not to feel bad, girl, I'm just going to have y'all email me. I'll answer it in the video and that'll be dead for that. Okay? Okay. Okay. All right. All the videos at the time. Make sure you guys click on those past videos you have missed. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. If you're new to my channel. Hit the subscribe button. You're not disappointed. Oh, <laughs> turn the notification bell on. It is down here. Turn on everything I post because my posts are on. <laughs> I just want to say that I love, 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 love you guys. Be through to you. Bye, y'all.